Hey guys, hey guys, it's me. It's Constance with Charming Custom Craft here on Facebook, YouTube, on YouTube here, and Facebook and Instagram. Now, when I get down with all of my Christmas of 2020, um, I will post all the pictures to um, Instagram. And then I will go back and I will get Halloween from 2020. And then I will try to get up my Christmas in July from 2020. And then all my other projects and my how-tos from 2020 up. And then I'm gonna try to get up some of the stuff that I'm working on now. I might try to squeeze those in too because you guys are gonna to wanna to see this because now I'm starting to sell my products. Um, but I am working on many new mediums and projects and stuff that I've been trying to get into. But if you watched the last video, you would've saw what I made for Lolly, Bailey's uh, oldest child. And then what I'm gonna get ready to show you. Hi, sweetheart. What you doing? Yeah. Say hi. Meow. So, um, uh, this ornament is for her second oldest, or, yeah, second oldest. Ow! Ah! Don't you, don't you, don't you do that again. Um, and I know you want attention, but jeez, Louise, Justin. Okay, so this one is for, for her son and, um, her second born. And I did not make for the two younger kids because one's one and one's a newborn. Uh, well, infant now. And um, I do not want to, um, the one-year-old, I, one, I gave him, <laughs> don't, you, don't you get into this stuff. Um, I don't want to, I gave him something that store-bought that he could actually put into his hand. Hi, honey. <laughs> he is up in my face. <laughs> Hi, Justin. Um, I got him, I gave him an ornament that he can touch and play with, but he cannot. <laughs> I did not want to give him something that was a uh, store Hi, buddy. <laughs> and something that he could break. Um, and of course, the one year old I let Bailey pick out because I bought a bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby and lots of baby ones. Hi, buddy. Lots of. Uh, <laughs> you just get, he can paw prints everywhere. Look at that. Don't mess with the ornaments. I've got to share them. Um, but I, let, I got a bunch of baby ones. And I wanted Bailey to pick out the one I actually picked out for her, she got for the baby, not the baby she had the year before. So I let, I pulled out a whole bunch of them and I got a bunch of them for 90% off. But I, I never know who's having a baby. So, um, yeah, so I let her pick and, um, hey, Joe, Justin, <laughs> he rubbing you guys. Say hello, buddy. Can I share this ornament? Thank you. <coughs> so, Lolly wasn't home, but all three of the boys were home, and I, I let Bailey pick out for the one-year-old, and um, I let her, all three of the boys are actually Viking names, which I love. All the kids' names are Viking names, which I love. They're cool names. I'm not gonna get into it. Lolly is just a nickname. Her name is Bahala. Um, but um, we just call her Lolly. Anyway, they call her Lolly. I call her Lollipop. Um, so her son was watching me go through stuff, and he he didn't like anything. And then I got I pulled out one thing, and I said, "What do you think about that?" He goes, "Oh, that is so cute." And I'm like, mm, "Gotcha, I got gotcha. you." So I'm sitting there, and I start crafting after I got off of the phone with ba Bailey, and I'm going, "How am I going to turn this into an ornament?" And I'm going, "Got it." I got you. I got you, sweetheart. So I was like, mm, Bailey hasn't even seen either Lolly's or his. And I'm going, mm-hmm, I got you. I got him, I got him. So, sweetheart, for you, I turn, and it's a doggy. It was a doggy pick. So for you, honey, I had a little fun because I had bought these eyeglasses that were supposed to turn, and this is for kids and adults, these they're glasses, it's like you can, you know, you have like the eye glasses that make them, they're like springs and your eyeballs pop out on them. Um, these happen to be, it was in the clearance section when I was buying a bunch. Now the hair is all messed up on it, but it's supposed to make your face turn into Santa Claus. I bought it to turn in and use for, um, for gnomes. And I thought, okay, I'm going to use this for something, but the hair is kind of all messed up on it. But you never know, you mean, with me, I have to catch it has some bad poppers, now I'm going to have to... I am going to have to polish this bad boy. So I was like, mm, I wonder what I could do. I only need a few hairs on this. 
But of course, five, six year olds are textures. Um, and my son, even now at 26, has this thing with texture. And who doesn't like to touch and feely things? So I'm going, I got you. And I'm like, okay, so sweetheart, this is for you. I made you a Santa dog. <laughs> I seen a hot dog. So this is your ornament. Isn't he just the coolest thing? And this was a pick for your tree or for your wreath. Now I'm gonna have fun. I, has, I still have more of these because when I bought these at Michael's and I only bought, when I was buying other picks, I only bought four of each because I mean, I could buy bunches of them, but I just, I, you just don't buy too many of them because it becomes too much. Um, but it becomes overwhelming when you buy multiples and make too many of them. Me, I just like to make a little bit of them. So I took a little pieces and I cut a little piece for a little mustache and I, I cut a little piece for the eyebrows and then I cut little curly keys and I cut them and put them in. <laughs> and then I had like a peppermint pick piece and then I took it off and I, I ended up painting it and instead of, cause it was, the paint was all messed up. And then I painted it, and then I took my um, my clear um, glitter, and I just, while it was still wet, I just poured it over it. And then I redid the um, metal to it, and I put a little hole in his mitten, and then I put a little hot glue up in here, and E6, no, I put E6000, stuck it back up in there, and put a little E6000, stuck it back in there, and waited it for it to dry a little bit, and then I turned around, and I cut a piece of plastic um, off a of styrofoam. It was off a piece of styrofoam, put it around it, and then um, I cut it, and of course I made a little bow, so now he's got a sucker for him. Um, Santa sucker. Okay, so Bailey, so I'm suggesting that you put the year up in his ear, because I don't want to write it. Um, my handwriting's not exactly perfect. So, so Bailey, just so you know, it did have a collar, but what I did is I took a silver bell and I painted it gold and then I dipped it in glitter. Yeah, too much stuff. Actually, no, I took my 24 karat gold paint pen and um, I painted it, rolled it in my fingers and it does jingle. So you guys can hear. It does jingle and it does have glitter on it. I dipped it in the glitter. So, and I, I actually sewed it on. So it has a collar like a, a reindeer. <laughs> Yeah, I spent way too much time on this. But then I turned around and I put some of my favorite, uh, uh, favorite, favorite little, um, what is this stuff called? Greenery, but this is like holly leaves, not holly leaves, berry leaves. And then I put some of my holly berries in here. And then I went to my, these are actually ornaments um, from Walmart. And I've had them forever. I think I had, I don't know if I had nine or 12 on, but they're really, really tiny. And I kept thinking about texture with him that he'd want to touch. So I, I really thought about touch and texture with him. And then I put my new snow and I don't like it. It's not snow text. I don't know what the name of this stuff is, but I don't like it. Uh, it's more like frosting. I, I mean, it depends, I guess, if what you want, but I'm pretty much, I'm more into snow text. But it kind of goes to the same effect. But I did not put glitter literally on this because I was thinking about the baby. Um, and I did not put snow on the or, uh, on ba uh, Lolly's either. Uh, if you haven't seen Lolly's ornament, go back and look at it. Um, I did not put um, glitter on it. I did put it on this only because it's really in there. I mean, it's really, really, really in there. Um, because my hand was rolling it around in it. Uh, but I did not put glitter into this because I was thinking if he was playing with it that it would be around the babies, especially the new baby. So I did not put glitter in it. I was worried about, you know, being a mommy and knowing that you have new babies, I'm not gonna put glitter on it. Uh, the texture stuff is like painted on there so it's not coming off. Um, so I put a ribbon around the belly. Okay. Um, and it, I, I wanted to give opposite colors than what was already on him since he's red and white. I wanted to give some color to him. So there is, and I did not, I tried not to paint too much of this stuff on here. If you notice, there's not a lot of it on it. So it says Merry Christmas, but I tried to put more green to it because there's a lot of red on him. And it says Merry Christmas to it and it's got a tree on it, but it's looped. 
but I didn't put that much um, um, hot glue. I used more E6000 than hot glue because I was afraid if he tore it off that it would get in the baby's pe uh, mouth and stuff. So that's the reason why I use E6000 because it's stronger. So you can live it that way. The little doggy will go up on the tree. And that way if he puts it up high enough, he can be looking down at him. But that's your Santa dog. Your Santa doggy. Get it in so many ways because it's a it's a Deshaun doggy. There's the Santa doggy. So it's even cuter than what he thought it was. But his little his little leg will come up. The leg is removable. See? They move. Because they're jointed. The legs are jointed. See? They're jointed. He can actually move them. That's his Santa doggy. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Right? So that's for your boy. I had to do it. I had to make him a Santa doggy. And it's super soft. This is silky soft. Just tell him, don't pull this out. Just be nice and touch it. And don't let the baby boys play with it. But put his name as one ear. Because you'll have to use a felt tip black pen. And then put the ear in the other ear. But I had so much fun. But I had to figure out what to do with a Santa dog pick. Or with a Santa dog pick. Or with a dog pick. So now if you guys buy these picks. Because it was up in the middle of the belly. So now you know what you can do with the dog picks. Or even with the bear picks. Put some hair on it and make it a, <laughs> make it a Santa. So I had a little fun and all I did was, you know, cut a little edge off of pieces and just ever so gently give them eyebrows and a little mustache or I thought about extending it all the way over, but it would have been too much. And to find the exact edge of where the ear was, well, the ear's way up here, so you can't really do that. So just so you know, here's your Santa dog. And this was um, multiple picks and a batch and i think this was my last peppermint piece and the squirrel it was mainly red with a very thin squirrel but i thought it was better this way so that's for your boy i thought it came out super cute and this is so that he could have textures and at that age it's all about textures and touch so super cute i hope he likes it i do i hope he likes it tell me if you like it if you like it give me a great big thumbs up guys